make it sound as if those hormones uh, in her protocol have been thoroughly researched. That's where my problem lies. Let me tell you my problem. My problem is that Diana signed the letter without having read the book. That's not true. That is, that is true. She told hold, me in an email. You know? She told me in an email. I have, and she just told her in the green room. But no, I didn't. did you, yes, did no, you read the book? You no, said you I read T.S. Wiley's chapter. Well, that's what I'm, uh, that's what I'm here about. The whole, you're just, I'm but, but what I want to say. The chapter. No, no, I spent two years writing an amazing book. An amazing. I, and I would say that it's a great book. You haven't read it. You haven't read it. I don't need you to read haven't, it. I know what you, she I doesn't don't need, need to read, read it. it. She's a doctor. Okay, here's how. No, but, but okay, really, wait, wait, wait. what I want, I'll just let me say something. Diane is an incredible doctor. I have given her credit. She's written the forewords to many of my books. I have given her credit for being my original teacher, incredible teacher. She taught me about the insulin connection, which is how I, I wrote my summer size books. Amazing doctor. But She has a problem with T.S. Wiley. That's not the true. Th the problem is, sure. what she's saying, is that these are not, these are not studied. The, there's no long-term double-blind studies. There's no long-term double-blind studies. That is not what on I'm what saying. she was doing That's with me all the years that That's you put me on bioidentical hormones. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We keep interrupting each other. Right. What T.S. Wiley is a bioidentical hormone? What is that? It's a molecular structure that mimics the hormones in your body made out of plants, usually. And you Soybeans, favor it in, in yams. You favor its use. Oh, absolutely. And so do it's I. It's much better than synthetic. And so right. do I. Right. She now, started me on it. But you know what? Here's the problem. You're not <coughs> listening to what I am objecting to. What are you objecting to? I'm objecting to the fact that when you read the chapter on T.S. Wiley, it sounds as though she is a molecular biologist who has thoroughly researched her oh. protocol. So you, you're faked out by this. Yes. Well, it's, it's interesting because the mirrors. makeup lady just read my introduction and said she didn't think I was a doctor or a molecular biologist. Let me get in Dr. Schwartz's thoughts. Where do you stand on all this, the author of The Hormone Solution? Well, I stand on the issue of okay. women's health. I think that, you know, I commend Suzanne Summers for having raised awareness about bioidentical hormones. But I think at this point, Suzanne Summers has gone over the line. I am here after 30 years of practicing medicine. I've just left my patients to come here to talk to you. Women are confused. They're desperate. They need help. They don't need controversy and people fighting over it. Uh, how they did she go answers. over the line, Erica? She has endorsed a person, Wiley, who doesn't have any credentials. People like Diana Schwartzbein and the physicians I represent have been working for hundreds of years together, seeing patients. <laughs> we know when somebody's sick, we know how to treat them. You cannot endorse and do what Suzanne did without repercussions. You know, the point is that Suzanne is great about raising awareness. Suzanne should be raising money for research. Suzanne should not let the practice of medicine to doctors. Let us take care of the patients. Bioidentical hormones have become a source of controversy and we don't need that. We need women to right. be safe, and we right. need really women to have here. access to them in an honest, in a very controlled... Right. Hold Erica, hold on yeah. a second. Uh, you know, Suzanne's having trouble hearing you, so I'm going to take a break, okay. and we'll come right back, and so we'll, we'll get her up to speed as to what you said. Don't go away.